this video tutorial, I am going to explain you how to calculate skewness in SPSS and interpret the results of a skewness. First of all, we will see what is a skewness. Skewness in everyday language, the terms skew and skew are used to refer to something that is out of line or distorted on one side. When referring to the shape of frequency or probability distributions, skewness refers to asymmetry of the distribution. Skewness measures the degree and direction of asymmetry. A symmetric distribution such as a normal distribution has a skewness of zero and a distribution that is skewed to the left, example, when the mean is less than the median has a negative skewness and when the mean is greater than the median has a positive skewness. So this we will see in an example of SPSS. Go to all programs, IBM SPSS, SPSS 20. IBM SPSS here. Now to experiment with, we open a file open data and I saved my sample files on desktop so we go to desktop here I have three SAV extension files those are the spaces files I will open nifty values Calculate the skewness. First of all, we need to go to analyze frequency status descriptive statistics frequencies. Here we'll take return variable, select, go to statistics, and first we check with the rule that is how mean and mean median are related. So we select mean and a median click continue and click OK. In this case mean is 0.29 whereas the median is 0.57. In the sense mean is less than median value. So our rule says when the mean is less than the median has a negative skewness. So as of now we have not calculated the skewness but this should result you a negative skewness. So to have a skewness calculated again go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies go to statistics and select skewness continue ok so here you can see the skewness skewness is negative is minus 0 0.408 so that means left skew the data is left skew so to see that we can also calculate a chart a histogram here receive statistics skewness here go to charts and you will find a histograms click on histograms show normal curve on histogram check this and click continue and click ok So here is our histogram. This is a normal curve on your histogram which is skewed towards left. Just skewed towards left. So that is that why we call this as a negative skewness. And we'll see another example. So to that we open another file. To file open data on desktop this time we will take ACC trade volumes open so to calculate a skewness this time we do all the calculations in one go go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies select a variable go to statistics click on mean median 
and skewness click continue and go to charts histograms check show normal curve on histogram click continue click ok so this has got a mean value of what is 4,67,000 there is a median of 4,8,000 that mean mean is greater than median in the sense the data is right skewed we'll see here when the mean is greater than the median has a positive skewness so here we can see we have a positive skewness that is 1.244 look at a graph this is a histogram so this is how the normal distribution curve looks and it is skewed towards right that is there are a more number of observations on its right than on the left of a median point now in the earlier case look at the returns we have a negative frequency negative skewness of minus 0.408 and here in this case it is in a acc trade volumes we have a positive skewness of 1.244 the point is how is that we are going to interpret the skewness result so what does it mean if it is a 1.244 and what does it mean if it is minus 0.408 so here is the explanation for that if skewness is positive the data are positively skewed or skewed right meaning that the right tail of the distribution is longer than the left we can see here so if you consider this as a midpoint this is the left tail and this one is the right tail so the right tail is longer than the left tail if skewness is negative the data are negatively skewed or skewed left meaning that the left tail is longer so here we have a negative skewness of minus 0.04 the midpoint and this is the right tail and this is the left tail you can see that the left tail is longer than the right tail if skewness equals to 0 the data are perfectly symmetrical but the skewness of exactly 0 is quite unlikely for real world data so how can you interpret the skewness number Belmer suggests this rule of the thumb if skewness is less than minus 1 or greater than plus 1 the distribution is highly skewed in our second example here are the statistics here we have a skewness of 1.244 so this is if skewness is less than minus 1 or greater than plus 1 the distribution is highly skewed if skewness is between minus 1 and minus 0.5 or between plus 0.5 and plus 1 the distribution is moderately skewed if skewness is between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5 the distribution is approximately symmetric in our first example we have approximately symmetric distribution because our statistics shows the skewness of minus 0.408 so data with Approximately symmetric is reliable and this is how we calculate and interpret skewness in SPSS thank you